Hi everyone, we're gonna have fun in this video trying to solve a quadratic equation by using flow algorithm. So, what's a quadratic e equation? It's an equation like this 2x squared minus x minus t, and it is written as this uh, with the coefficients a, b, and c. You get a x squared plus bx plus c. And to, in order to find the solution, the roots of these equ equations, I'm going to calculate the delta. That's a, uh, it's just a name given to this formula here, b squared minus 4ac. And check that delta value if it is larger than zero. In other words, it's a positive value. And your root 1 and root 2 exists, and you can calculate it by using this formula here. Uh, the difference between root 1 and root 2 is this sign here negative b plus squared delta divided by 2a or negative b minus squared uh, delta divided by 2a so if delta is 0 in this case you have identical roots root 1 is equal to root 2 and it can be calculated by dividing the coefficient negative b by 2a if delta is smaller than zero if it is negative that means there is no root because you cannot take the square root or the delta if it is negative okay an example is given here the quadratic equation is this 2x squared minus x minus 6 and i calculate the delta is 7 that is a positive value that means i have two roots and i apply the rules i, I apply the uh, use the calculations he given here and the root 1 is 2 root 2 is negative 1.5 what does it mean that root 1 and root 2 is give, uh, calculated what does it do with the root values that means if you put 2 in this equation okay and for example 2 times uh, you're gonna put uh, plug 2 as the x value 2 times x squared okay and minus x is 2 minus 6 should be equal to 0 is it so because it's a root it should make the equation 0 okay 2 times 4 is 8 minus 2 minus 6 is it equal to 0 and 8 minus 2 8 minus 2 is 6 minus 6 is actually equal to 0 so that means 2 was actually a root one of the root num values if you put 1 point negative 1 1.5 you're gonna end up with the same results so our job is to use these formulations to generate an application that will take a <coughs> sorry b and c values and then calculate the roots if, if it is possible if there, there are roots okay so we're gonna need a, by the way a b and c if you look carefully can be integer values and also it could be real numbers too so we're gonna go is with that and we will just think about it as integer values at first place all right declare a I'm sorry a or I think maybe we should create something real right I mean that application will should work with any uh, equ quadratic equation so let's make it real all right a is be real B is real and C is real all right okay now we're gonna calculate the Delta by using this equation right so calculate Delta but I need to declare Delta first okay and obviously it's gonna be a real value because a b and c are real okay and assignment will be here delta is equal to b squared okay my 
minus minus four times a times c. I would like to put uh, parentheses all the time if it is whenever it is possible because it makes easier to understand everything. All right, so I could also put this here. So this value minus this value will be the delta. Okay. And just to test things uh, for a second, I will just uh, print out a and uh, comma and b comma and c value at the end and c and comma and delta the calculated delta value okay let's see let's test it all right <clears throat> i'm gonna use this example uh, and run it okay attempt to read data from b was not initialized okie dokie let's see oh we are actually supposed to read these all from the user uri okie dokie and output enter a you see you know you're just thinking fast um, trying to mimic these formulas right here so answer a answer b the user will answer all those numbers right it's not coming from anywhere else the user will enter the values answer b and then read it save it into b and then also the last one is enter c okay enter c and then because we know what a and b and c are we don't need to say and c enter the coefficient for all the uh, x squared etc anyways now i got my declarations i got my inputs and i can calculate delta and print it out okay a we're gonna use the same example if you look at here the x power 2 uh, has the coefficient 2 okay and then b is negative 1 okay and the c is negative 6 okay and delta is calculated as 49 and square root of 49 is gonna be uh, obviously 7 so this was not right here so 4 1 2, point plus 40 and and 49 I I was one step ahead so this is a square root of 49 anyway so far so good okay now we're gonna ha we, we have three different paths to go we're gonna make a decision depending on the values of Delta here so if Delta is larger than zero we got this situation if it is zero we got that situation and if Delta is negative there's no root okay so what what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put if statements here right if Delta is first I'm gonna check if Delta is zero all right <clears throat> Delta is zero if Delta is zero that means there is no uh, I'm sorry Delta is smaller than zero that means there is no root if that is the case there is no root so I'm gonna say if Delta is 0 there is no root okay if Delta is not 0 it's negative smaller than 0 then I had two possibilities which could be larger than 0 or equal to 0 so I'm going to put another if statement here saying that if Delta is larger than zero okay and that is the true case if that's not the case here okay let me see um, Delta here let me put a command Delta is is either larger than zero or Delta is equal to zero 
Okay, so, and here at this point, delta is larger than zero. Delta is larger than zero. And here I have delta is equal to zero. I know what to do in both cases, right? It's written here. Uh, let's do the easy one. Okay, if delta is zero here, then I'm gonna say roots are equal, okay? And I will calculate it, okay? I will cal calculate by doing this, uh, calculating that assignment. So by the way, I actually forgot to generate my two root variables okay root one okay let's call it root one like this and it's gonna be a real number why is that because for example that's what that one was negative 1.5 it could be a real number or it could be an integer value so just to be on the safe side I'm gonna use uh, real type for both of my roots, root one and root two, real values. Okay, very good. So here, in this case, um, I'm gonna calculate root one and root two is equal, right? And then um, I will use the formula right here. Okay, it will be an assignment. Okay, root one root 1 is equal to okay negative b divided by 2 times a okay and I could actually put that in parentheses too it doesn't really matter but just to make it easily read uh, read easily um, I will do that anyways I'm I'll put it under assignment saying that since root one and two are equal now the value I calculated for root one is gonna be equal to root two okay and then at the very end right before the end I am going to print out oh wait not here I'm going to print out the root one and root two okay and I say here all right roots are identical and the value is root 1 okay I actually didn't need to do that uh, I can just get rid of this right here um, I'm printing out and I actually did not need that message either I'll just say roots are identical and the value is this and that's it in the story right and for the other one however I'm gonna have to calculate root 1 and root 2 separately all right so here it is another assignment okay root 1 is going to be negative I, I could just copy this because it's the same thing exact thing right but I'm gonna make it tiny modification because here I just cannot say 2a I have to say 2 times a all right and I know my delta value already and square root if you're not sure if we have the uh, built-in function for it so uh, you could just go to the intrinsic functions and then look for it we have it but with a capital S and remember that everything is uh, case sensitive so I'm just gonna make this capital okay and then that will be it okay, okay and I will just copy this and calculate root 2 here which is gonna be another assignment and root 2 is the same thing except this signet sign oh it's negative right here so I'm just gonna put that right here and that's it so now I got the root 1 and root 2 so just print that out root 1 root 
root 1 is going to be root 1. Okay, that is the first one. And then root 2 will be root 2 will be root 2 that I just calculated. Okay, so um, here we calculated root 1 and root 2 and then printing out. So we t took care of each possible, let me maximize, try to maximize this, okay, each possible condition, alright, so we're getting inputs A, B, and C, and we're calculating delta out of it, and then, I'm sorry, uh, delta root 1 and root 2 variables are declared or created and entering ABC from the keyboard getting from the user and then calculating delta right here and depending on the delta's value we're doing uh, calculating the roots if delta is negative there is no root okay and if there is no root it goes all the way down and then ends the program and before we end the program we could actually say Thanks for using. Thanks for using my application or something like that, right? And that will be a goodbye message. And if the delta is not smaller than zero, in other words, it could be larger than zero or equal to zero. If it is larger than zero, I have two roots. If it is equal to zero, I have one root, identical roots, right? And then I'm calculating all these and then I'm printing out. And that's it. That's all I do. And then uh, I'm going to use my test here. And then see if I got the actual root values. So let's enter A. A is 2 because uh, A is the first coefficient, right? 2 enter what is b b is the second coefficient which is negative one here in this case negative one i'm sorry negative one and then the last one is the i to which no x uh, argument and that will be a negative six and hit enter okay root one is two root two is negative 1.5 okay just to make sure that we got the uh, correct application, uh, let's generate one uh, quadratic formula with root positive 2 and negative 6, for example. That will be um, x squared uh, plus 4x minus 12. So if I use this one, and the root should be root 1 should be 2 root 2 should be negative 6 for this one okay and then if you run it and uh, look what are the coefficient this uh, this one is just 1 and the second one the B is 4 and C is negative 12 and I should have 2 and negative 6 as my roots. And that concludes our uh, nice application that actually calculates the root of um, a quadratic e equation. It was actually pretty straightforward so since we had the formulas and everything uh, ready beforehand. The algorithm was pretty straightforward and I'm gonna put up the uh, quadratic equation equation the FPRG file on github and thanks for watching